Diesel, the devious engine, had played one trick too many. Having nearly gotten Boko and his passengers into a serious accident, Diesel was relocated to the scrapyard to be far away from the other engines. Diesel was not at all thrilled to be working at the scrapyard. Despite his arrogance and pride, Diesel was secretly terrified to be anywhere near the scrapyard. He considered it to be a desolate place. When he arrived that evening, a scruffy looking yard foreman barked orders at him. You're on night duty tonight. Do as you're told or we won't have any trouble. What are my duties? Diesel said meekly. You're a shunter, aren't you? Shunt the scrap engines into line to be cut up. Yes, sir. Diesel sighed. Diesel slunk over to the sidings where he found many old, rusted engines with scrap written in broad letters across their tanks. He gazed at their lifeless faces and was overcome with a sense of dread. He'd never been to a scrap yard before and didn't realize how awful it was to see an engine who was no longer alive. Diesel felt sick and couldn't stand looking at the engines anymore. Shutting his eyes, he quickly shunted the engines into their place. The cutters prepared their torches and soon began removing funnels, domes, smoke box stores, and everything in between. As Diesel sat watching the cutters at work, many things were suddenly put into perspective for him. He had spent many years teasing the steam engines about how they would be scrapped to make way for the diesels. But in his teasing, he never stopped to think just how terrible it is to scrap an engine. Piece by piece, the engines were reduced to mere shells, and then to nothing altogether. These engines were once living, breathing machines, but now they were all the same as the other scrap iron. Diesel felt an overwhelming sadness for the engines he had never met. Later that night, Diesel returned to his shed, a much wiser engine. His first night had been sobering. He peered up at the moon, feeling as a prisoner must feel, trapped and alone. I really upset the top of my hat this time, he said to himself, and now I'm paying for it. Diesel had a lot to think about indeed. The next night, Diesel returned to the scrapyard to begin his shunting. He was sorry to see that there were still more derelict engines ready to be cut up for scrap. Diesel couldn't be sure, but something felt different about these engines. Then, a thick fog started to settle among the sidings. The moonlight reflected eerily off the rusted boilers of the scrap engines. Diesel heard what sounded like a faint whisper echoing from the bowels of the old engines. Diesel listened intently as the whispers grew louder. As the words became clearer, he felt a chill run down his back. You did this. You did this. You did this. The echoes called. What did I do? Diesel called. But I never send anyone for scrap, he cried. You wished it on us, and you should be ashamed. We were steam engines you tricked, and your tricks made us lose our lives. I'm sorry if I made any steam engine fall off their path. I promise I'll never do it again. Then, the whispers ceased, and the yard fell silent. The old engines stood tall against the night sky, in their last stand against Diesel. Diesel didn't know what to say, but he knew he needed to leave. 
Without speaking to anyone, he slunk silently away into the night. He didn't know where he was going or what he would do. But anything was better than facing his demons in the cold, damp sidings of the scrapyard.